Hey guys, Andy Quadra here. Hey, we're gonna go right back here and take a look at what these guys are doing on one of our Pro 6000 skids. This is gonna be a 2,350 gallon tank mounted on a skid. Uh, generators, pumps, hose reels, everything right in front of it. Just like you've seen it on our website, you know, on LinkedIn, our Facebook page, blog, things of that nature. So what we like to do is essentially walk you through how to do the startup, uh, the components that are built into the skid. So Marcus is going to lead us. So why don't you? Why don't we go back there and kind of see what these guys are doing right before we ship this out today? Thanks. Okay. okay. And just for testing, we have wired straight in from our facility here power instead of using the generator. Uh, we don't ship generators with oil or fuel in them. So once we're done here, we'll clean this up, hook it up to the generator, put a blank on the here, and get everything cleaned up nice and neat so there's no wires hanging out and everything is nice and neat. All right, when you get everything fired up, uh, what you'll wanna do is make sure you have paper in your printer here. The lights here will show you, make sure everything is good. Sometimes it's a little tricky to get it in there. Close that up. Once you've connected your hoses to the tank that you're going to be filling for this purpose, we're just refilling right into our storage container here. Uh, to start the pump, simply go to run. It clears out and fires up. When you're done with your delivery, just hit stop. We have paper in the printer. In order for you to move on to another delivery, you have to print. So once it's printed, you can go back to stop. Now you're ready for another delivery. Simply go to run, all zeros. Through, through the 100 foot cord or the 100 foot hose, we're doing about 60 gallons a minute right now. standard tank skid design that we have. Uh, the generator comes already mounted with the power already plugged in so whenever you start it up all you need to do is turn on the circuit breaker. It's basically like a light switch. It turns you can fire up the generator without applying power. This is just a, simply an on and off switch for the electricity. Comes into a box back here it has all our relays feeds the pump that's behind the generator. Which also powers the hose reel over here. And right here we have the hose reel rewind. Down here we have the three-way bypass valve in case you have a short run that you want to use a bolt whip hose. Uh, increased flow rate. Mounted on the top of the filter canister here is the air eliminator. So if any product discharges, it simply is sent right back into the tank. Okay, the three-way valve here acts twofold, one for a load line and one for a line to supply the pump while in use. If you're going to refill the tank, simply come over, take off the cap, hook up your fill line, once it's connected and everything's secure, turn this into the position. There's an indicating arrows up here. Now you're free to fill this tank. Once done, turn the valve back to position before you unhook it. 